hey guys you're welcome back to our class i'm going to be teaching you how to make this yummy shawarma do you know you can start a shawarma business right from the comfort of your home yes you can and i will show you the tricks you can use to do a very nice shawarma without going to buy all these expensive shawarma gadgets and all that you can do it right from your home and you start cashing out so to begin we need to marinate our chicken we go in by our pepper salt chicken spice no cube the super spice sesame oil dark soy sauce so you are going to be combining everything thoroughly well then after that you go in with your this is uh, chicken breast you go in with your chicken breast then mix it very well mix it very well to combine mix it after mixing it you cover it you can put it in the freezer for like 30 minutes to one hour then once that is done start preparing your veggies you shred your carrots just like this Go ahead and shred your carrots or if you don't have a grater you can use your knife to cut it tiny tiny pieces like this but grater was perfectly fine then go ahead and cut your cabbage cut your cabbage Cut your onions, this is white onions, then this is fresh pepper, it's optional though. So go ahead and put it in a place or a bowl, mix it and set it aside. Once that is done, sprinkle some oil and go ahead and grill your chicken. Grill it until everything is well grilled or well cooked. You don't use cook, well grilled. Okay? So, make sure you keep your eye on it. Once one part is okay, you flip it to the other side. You continue to go that way until everything is perfectly grilled. You can also use your frying pan. You can use a frying pan. You can use something like this if you have. If you don't have, you go ahead and use your frying pan. So at this time if you have a sausage if you want to add a sausage go ahead and you know roll everything together go ahead and add it and allow them to cook very well you can see how juicy this is and it's perfectly grilled so once everything is okay you go ahead and remove it So now shred it into pieces, shred it into tiny pieces, okay? You 
if your chicken is well grilled it will be very easy for you to shred it so once that is gone so once that is done go ahead and mince your sauce you go in with your mayonnaise feel free to use any mayonnaise of your choice go in with your ketchup the next one is with your chili sauce chili sauce go ahead and combine everything combine until everything is well combined so now you are going to be combining everything together with your veggies go ahead and add your mist mist mayonnaise to that you add your shredded chicken then mix everything thoroughly well once that is done get your shawarma wrapper you can get the shawarma wrapper at a supermarket you can also make it yourself okay maybe i will make a video on how to make it later you can also make it yourself you can get it at a supermarket or shop right so this is how to wrap it okay professionally just wrap your shawarma like this and you can see what happened so i use them now if you want to make it for your family you don't need uh you may not need this this foil if you want to make it for your family but if you want to sell it that's when you need this okay that's when you need this if you want to sell it so this is how to wrap it but if you are making it for your family you don't need this so i use this uh, mayonnaise as a binder okay that is why i'm rubbing it on this thing so i'm using it as a binder i'm using it to hold everything together so go ahead and do it again repeat the process okay repeat the process very easy right very easy to wrap okay so this is how to wrap it very simple and easy so you can start this from the comfort of your home and start cashing out you don't need all these expensive gadgets to you know do your shawarma so after this you're going to be using your normal frying pan okay to heat it or you can even you can even put it in your oven you can put it in your oven yes you can put it in your oven that is after folding it like this you go ahead put it in a baking tray and put it inside your oven okay so this is it man like this is the almighty shawarma so we'll go ahead and i'm going to be using this you know Going to be heating it on this frying pan. You can heat it with the foil together. You can also heat it without the foil. Okay, so anyone you choose. So I'm going to be showing you the two style that you can use and heat it. You can heat it with the foil, and you can heat it without a foil. So we're going to be heating it for like 10 minutes so now this is a frying pan you can go ahead and heat it like this okay keep your eyes on it once it's okay you turn it around just like this
We will do it professional like this if you want to sell it. But the other style, if you're making it for your, this, this style is for your family, okay? Go ahead and make it and you don't have to waste your foil because foil is very, very expensive right now. So you can see that, okay? You can see the goodness. Oh my god, this shawarma tastes so great. It tastes so yummy. Very delicious shawarma. So you don't have to go and be spending 4000 to you know to buy a shawarma when you can make one at home, okay? The only thing you can get from the market is the wrap or you can make it yourself, okay? I will teach you how to make the shawarma wrap yourself. So this is the almighty shawarma that you go and be spending 4,000, 5,000 to buy from the market. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Try and do yours. Try and make yours. Okay? Bye.